Good morning everyone, welcome to our new week of Pied Piper activities. Hopefully you've been with us for the last couple of weeks so you'll know that each week on a Monday morning we start a new theme. Now our theme of the week this week is a brand new theme to Pied Piper, it is Time Traveller. So think about all the places that you could go if you had a time machine, they're the kind of places that we're going to be going for our activities this week. So to start off today, before we can do any time travel, we're going to need to make some time travel clocks because they're going to allow us to decide where in time we're going to go. So to do this, you're going to need a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you can just use a piece of cardboard cut into the shape of a circle. You're going to need a pencil, some colours, you could use pens, crayons, pencils, and you're going to need some push pins. So they look a bit like this. They're small pins where when you push them through, you can pull the edges apart. And that's going to be for our spinner in the middle. Other than that, you don't need anything else. So let's get started. We're going to start with our paper plate or our circle cut out. And we're going to design our own clock. Now it's completely up to you how you want this to look. You can do any design that you want. You might want to write years on them. You might want to write periods of time. I'm going to divide mine into sections around the outside. And then on this one, I'm going to write the periods of time on. So I'm just going to start with my design, dividing those sections around the side. And then in the middle, you could do anything that you like. I'm going to do a spiral, but you can be as creative as you want. You might want to draw pictures that relate to each of the time periods. I'm going to go with a simple spiral, so starting on the outside, almost like this, the shell of a snail, and working my way into the centre. Now I'm going to colour that all in. I'm going to use pens. You can use anything that you've got at home. You might want to paint it, and then you're going to let it dry before we move on to the next part. So I've taken a bit of time with that. As you can see, I've now got completely coloured in clock. So I've just done different colours around the middle. And then around the outside, I've done my sections in different colours. And then hopefully you can see that I've then written different periods of time in there. So I've got prehistoric, Middle Ages, ancient Rome, ancient Egypt. And I've done different periods of time around the outside. Now to show you another example, I've also made this one, which is just very simple spiral effect. But on this one, I've done different years. So it's up to you how you want to design your clock. You can do either of these options or you might have an option of your own. Now, the next thing you're going to do is we're going to need to create our spinner, our arrow to go into the middle. So with a piece of cardboard, you're going to cut out an arrow and then very carefully, you're going to need an adult to help you with this. You're going to make a hole in the centre of your paper plate. Now, I've just done this with a pair of scissors. So you can see I've got a very small hole in the centre there. And then I'm going to get my arrows, which I've made already. I've made two different arrows. I've made a blue one and a black one which is wavy and then I've also put holes in the middle of those and put my push pins in. So I'm just going to feed through that push pin through the centre of the plate. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to bend the edges over. I'll do the same with this one as well. So it both fits through together, turn it over, spread the push pin up. And now I have got two time travel spinners which will decide where I can go in time. Hope you have lots of fun with this. Be as creative as you want and don't forget to post your videos in the comments below so we can see your amazing time travel clocks.